The Abrams X Tank, Pentagon's brand new tank unveiled. General Dynamics Land Systems, or GLDS, has developed a new technology called Abrams X. In place of the Abrams Tank series' progression, it's intended as an idea that the most recent generation of main battle tanks. During the Washington DC-based ALSA exhibition on October 12, 2022, this tank was first made public. Welcome to Military Knowledge. In today's video, we will see the Abrams X Tank, the Pentagon's brand new tank, unveiled. So, let's get into it. The M1 Abrams may be replaced with a lighter, more advanced model as America's next main battle tank. The Abrams is made by General Dynamics, which recently unveiled an upgraded M1 model. The Abrams X has a hybrid electric engine and an automated turret, in addition to being 20 tons lighter than the most recent iteration, the M1A3. The Abrams X is not quite a next generation tank, despite what the media has called it. Actually, the Abrams X is a technology showcase. It started as a research project for internal use at General Dynamics to demonstrate how new technology might be incorporated into a new tank or added to an old tank. The Abrams X is more of an interim design than a true next generation armored vehicle, filling the void between the Cold War era designs that still make up the majority of the world's tanks fleets and the real next generation armored vehicles, which are likely close to enter service closer to 2050. The Abrams X is a functional weapon though. According to Tim Reese, director of US business development for General Dynamics Land Systems, quote, it drives about, it fires, and it accomplishes the tasks of a tank. It isn't merely a static display. The Army's new multi-million domain operations doctrine is compatible with the Abrams X as well. The new strategy envisions large unit mechanized operations against near-peer adversaries like Russia and China after decades of concentrating on counterinsurgency. Designing a tank involves striking a compromise between three factors, mobility, protection, and firepower. The primary objective of the Abrams X was to remedy a major issue with the M1, of which more than 10,000 have been constructed since 1979. The Abrams has always been a substantial tank. The current Abrams weighs closer to 80 tons, with enhancements like the Trophy Active Protection System meant to fire down approaching anti-tank weaponry. Even the early M1A1s weighed roughly 60 tons in contrast to Russia's 45-ton T-72 and China's 55-ton Type 99A. The Abrams X is a new generation of MBT with increased firepower, protection, and mobility to meet the challenges of modern battle zones. According to a General Dynamics new release, the crew size of the Abrams X is smaller than that of the preceding iteration. As opposed to the Abrams X, which has three crew hatches at the front of the vehicle, the regular Abrams has a commander, gunner, loader, and driver. This suggests that the Abrams X's redesigned turret has a lower profile and is entirely unmained and employs automatic loading. Instead of having the gunner and commander work from separate stations with panoramic sights, the Abrams family revolutionary crew layout enables three crew members to sit side by side while working and engaging in combat. Distributed aperture camera systems, often known as DOS, are mounted on the turret on the front of the tank's hull, along with the active protection systems, countermeasure grenades, and other weapons. There are several armored electro-optical cameras installed that can input data into the DOS architecture and are orientated in all directions. Without having to leave the truck, they can give the crew a 360-degree view, greatly enhancing situational awareness. A radar sensor pointed skyward towards the rear of the tank appears to be the part of the Abrams radar system, which is similar to that in self-driving cars. This indicates that the Abram X's active protection system, which is its most outstanding feature, is capable of spotting and neutralizing premier attack weapons like the American Javelin and the Swedish Law. The silent watch, though, is better. The Abrams may operate its power-hungry thermal sights with its relatively new feature instead of a noisy, thermally visible gas turbine engine. The tank's new hybrid engine is to blame for this. One of the most significant and probably most influential technologies woven into the tank is the hybrid power pack on the Abrams X. It is a propulsion technology that can significantly increase fuel efficiency while enhancing survivability with smaller thermal and acoustic signatures. Furthermore, it's crucial to remember that the Abrams X is propelled by DL570 P3 tracks. Consequently, Abrams X is the first Abrams to use a diesel engine. As a result, the Abrams X diesel engine and larger battery pack can provide more power to operate these sensors for longer periods of time. Therefore, this hybrid electric drive complements the US Army's aims for electrification and climate change, as well as the increased watch capabilities and some silent mobility. Additionally, the new hybrid powertrain on the Abrams X reduces vehicle weight and fuel consumption by 50%, according to General Dynamics. 
Due to these factors, the Abrams X is now considered the next generation main battle tank, having the same tactical range as the M1A2 Abrams while also being lighter, more mobile and more transportable. Since the 1970s, it has been anticipated to be the most mobile in its Abrams family. The new XM360 120mm gun is the main armament for the Abrams XMBT. This has taken the place of the previous main weapon, a 120mm M256 gun. Initial plans for the XM360 involved warfare systems. In the early 2000s, a project to replace the armored vehicle used by the US Army today was started. This weapon uses the same ammunition and has the same caliber as the previous M256. It can fire modern mid-range weapons, advanced multipurpose and knowledge explosives, or advanced kinetic energy to help reduce recoil. The XM360 120mm cannon features a pepper pot style muzzle brake at the muzzle to reduce the weight of the gun system and, as a result, the overall vehicle weight. Titanium and composite materials make up the entire gun system. A coaxial machine gun is located on the right side of the Abram X's main armament and what appears to be the XM914 30mm chain cannon is located on the top of the turret, replacing the commander's M250 caliber machine gun and the loader's M240 7.62mm machine gun. The crew of the XM914 can shoot from inside the hole using a remotely operated gun system while using thermal imaging technology to target in the dark and through the smoke. The turret and the hull of the Abrams X has outdated armor packages. It also has an active defense system that may activate a tiny warhead at a safe distance for the projected platform to intercept anti-tank guided missiles and other contemporary projectiles. At a perfectly determined moment, this will use a shockwave effect to neutralize or eliminate the threats. The Abrams X is a huge upgrade over the original Abrams overall. Another Abrams is the most likely replacement for the M1, which the Army has tried but failed to replace on numerous occasions. Although the Army has previously renovated older tanks to save money, it now owns thousands of Abrams. The Abrams X has so many modifications built into them that remanufacturing them might not be an option. With its reduced crew, AI lethality, survivability, mobility, manned or unmanned teaming and autonomous capabilities, the Abrams X is more than just a tank for the 21st century. Features like top attack active protection and a 30mm chain gun are expected to be included and were inspired by the conflict in Ukraine. If approved by the US Army, the Abrams X can be an essential part of lethal combat networks and act as a link between the Abrams SEPV3 and SEPV4 and a future tank. It might imply that the Abrams platform will continue to be used well past the year 2050. So guys, what do you think about the new US Abrams X main battle tank? Should the US Army buy it? Drop your comments below and let us know. But that is all for today, so thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, smash that like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Also tap the bell icon so that you won't miss any more of our videos. Check out other videos on our channel and we'll see you in the next video.